Who's that? I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent in here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for the keeping of dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. That's the official story. Got it. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A truly historical weapon. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you are here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard that the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms taking ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data, and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping nuclear weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course. There is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password. Or there can be no launch. But... <laughs> they found out my password. You talked? Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist! Psycho Mantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. 
If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Arms Tech, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes, you can stop the launch. That card key. So where are the card keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him into an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as a transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So, does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But, what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? <laughs> Naomi, the Chief, what happened? I... I, I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No! Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not, Snake. You've got to understand. This counter-terrorist op is security level red. You'll need the highest security clearance to learn the real story. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker.
move. So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Shoot me, rookie. Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. Your eyes wander. There's no confidence in them. The eyes of a rookie. You've never shot a person, have you? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out Looks of here. Like it'd be a little delayed. Uh. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. What are you waiting for? Shoot. Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot. Thanks for the help. Wait! Who are you? Sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code.
Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So, that was Mantis. Too late. <coughs> He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No! Don't, don't, don't touch it! Four. the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver.
Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up.
the hell? Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... I talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Uh, kinda like psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah. Anyway, how did they get your code? I... I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> Uh, it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. He's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Mm, looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Uh, you're a funny guy. So, the... the DARPA chief? Is he okay? Dead. What? It, it can't be. No, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Ah. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Oh, those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. Do you still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. Uh, no, that, that, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. Prison? That female soldier? She said that she had just joined up as a new recruit. They, they threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Uh, looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. L let me tell you, it's... it's... Huh? Oh... Sorry. I forgot. Damn! 
Oh, that's right. I it should be on the back of the package. Uh, try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? Uh, the, the team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A uh, genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? Well, you'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's, it's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The nuclear threat hasn't disappeared. The threat is more real than ever before. The amount of spent nuclear fuel in plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stack this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to use it or dispose of it. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work, with nowhere to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age where any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? The Russians and Chinese still pursue a policy of deterrence. Do you see? Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear? Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the U.S. Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even that bunch on the Military Oversight Committee. Bribes. Just call it the Military Industrial Complex. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you or your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here. This is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure that you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk?
No. You go on without me. Oh. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. Uh, that ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <laughs> you know him? <laughs> you should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Huh? Oh, 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 what? What did you do to me? Uh, oh, no! Oh, oh, no! It can't be! Those Pentagon bastards! So they, they, they actually went and did it! What are you talking about? They, 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 they're just using you for... for uh, 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 uh. What the hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or digoxin. But we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes. We have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you.
Who's there? Hmm? Is there somebody there? out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? Hmm. I'm the fool that your uncle sent to this hellhole. You came alone? Trying to be some kind of hero? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people called me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Uh, sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. They're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader? Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal, then? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him personally. But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I just joined the training that same day. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapon disposal facility. Boy, oh boy. It's just like them. Nobody's told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But they must have been test firing dummy warheads for a while. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. That's what I heard, anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh, yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep them hidden from the guards. Well... Women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No. Not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Huh. Sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. 
I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So, they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. How do we get to the nuclear warhead storage where the doctor's being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go to the- I'm going with you! No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green! Oh yes you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. It was frightening to think that with a pull of a trigger I could take someone's life. It's not like shooting targets in training. I always dreamed of being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action, and now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, you're not normal if you don't feel something the first time you kill. Killing without guilt produces more carnage. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits emerge. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Hang on to the key until then. Got ya. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Don't worry, Colonel. Meryl is fine. Thank God. Meryl is a very strong woman. I really respect her. She's got plenty of heart. Thanks, Snake. Not so fast. The real mission is still ahead.
snake. I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait! You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. What is it? You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. 